<clears throat> you ready? I'm ready. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Salem Sunny. Today, I have a special guest with you. Uh, hey. uh, I have a special guest with me. <laughs> I'm excited to uh, present her to you guys. She has a, an incredible testimony. We're gonna be talking about that today. We're outside today, and one thing I wanna do, uh, more life stuff so you guys can be able to see kind of like the day-to-day -day behind the scenes and uh, <laughs> today we're outside which is exciting but before we get there I just want you guys to know for those of you guys new to my YouTube channel we focus on two main things here we talk about faith we talk about entrepreneurship uh, these are two core values of me and through my journey in 2018 I want to discover more things what God has to say about business about entrepreneurship about all that today I got an incredible story uh, with Nicole and uh, we met a couple of days ago, actually, it's incredible, but we just connected. We go way back. Exactly. We had a project that we were working on and her story was really touching and I was like, okay, how can I be able to uh, share this to the YouTube fam and you guys can be able to kind of be blessed by her story. So without any further ado, Nicole, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you? Doing very well, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks for having me. You excited? I'm very excited. <laughs> so today is an interesting day. We thought that it was gonna be a little quieter today, but there's an ice cream truck there, there's people everywhere. This there's one year old is having the party of his life. There's literally a party right next to us for one year old, but there's more people than it was on my party and her <laughs> party combined, like it's crazy. It's okay. Um, yeah, we don't feel bad at all. But um, <laughs> to jump right into it, now, one of the things that's exciting this year, and I've talked about it a little bit, some of you guys have seen this, we've talked about uh, the the transition into a new year, right? The understanding that maybe 2017 didn't turn out the way you wanted, uh, maybe things didn't, didn't turn out as as smooth as everybody, you know, everybody talks about it's my year, it's your new year, but well, 2017 for some, some people were really hard. I have friends who lost their parents, I have friends who lost their spouse in 2017, so it was a tough year for many. Um, today I want to you know bring a little bit Nicole to tell a story she was one of those few people who also had a relatively tough year things didn't turn out the way she wanted but God still had a purpose for her life and I think we believe that so I want her to kind of like talk to you guys a little bit so Nicole yes. give a little bit of a, your background where do you come from you know what has led you through 17 like 20, 2017 being that year that was relatively tough for you yeah for sure um, well, I, uh, I've i always wanted to be an actress. I grew up wanting to act. I've done it my whole life. I love working with people. I love being on stage in front of the camera. Right. Um, I kind of went through all sorts of ups and downs with that, you know, kind of got scared of doing it and mm. then pursued it again. Um, but it's always been something that I've been passionate about and it's been in my heart. And um, last year, I kind of I I kind of tried to make it happen. You know, right. it was something I always wanted. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna move to Los Angeles. I'm gonna hey, do the whole thing. Hey. Hollywood. Um, and you know, not that there's anything wrong with that. And I might very well end up in Los Angeles in like six months. I don't know. But um, I was trying to do it all on my own. You know, I was trying mm. to force it to happen because I was getting impatient of. Um, God's plan. God being like, yeah, exactly. God like not making me an actress. So I was like, all right, well, if you put this passion in my heart, like, right. why, why am I not on, you know, Saturday what, what Night Live? Okay, yeah. yeah. Like, whatever, exactly. I was whatever. thinking like, what show do you want to be on? Yeah, but, exactly. Why okay. am I not in a sitcom? Whatever it is. Um, so I got this opportunity to move to Los Angeles with my company that I work for right now, and. Uh, it was kind of all set up, like my two weeks were in, everything, and my gut was just like, nah. <laughs> and um, and it was really hard. It was a very stressful time because I, I felt like I was giving up, you know, everything that I had ever wanted. And I so yeah. before you finish that, because I want I want the viewers to kind of understand like why that was such a big decision. Because yeah. when you say your gut tells you no, and this is incredible for you guys to also realize, because this is all you you had done, right? You yeah. went to school for you know communication, acting, all this different stuff. This is really what you majored on. This you always dreamed to do this. You almost focus your whole life around this. Yeah. So when you say your gut told you, nah, like what does that mean? Like, is that, like, do you feel like you were praying and then God spoke to you? Like, what does that mean? Um, you know, it was really hard, like internal struggle because there was this whole big piece of me that was just like, well, is this just fear? You know, right. am I just 
too afraid to go do it. Right. Um, but I don't think it's fear because when I get up and I act and whatever, I'm not afraid. And I don't think mm. that, it, I don't think it's a, a sense of I couldn't do that. I think I could do it. Okay. Um, but I think it was more of a motivational thing. I think mm. that, um, you are no longer motivated. No, not so much that. I think it was just having, um, maybe not the right motivation or, um, okay. yeah, exactly. So we'll go with that. So, um, what do you feel that motivation was? So for for example, somebody who is in a similar shoes than you, yeah. right? They love acting. They feel themselves that, okay, this is what I want to do. But acting is somewhat seen predominantly as being like a secular industry. Yep. We can say. So somebody wants to jump in there. They have this desire to act, to become a great actor, deceive, and they have the potential to be a great actor, right? Right. So, but there, you you saying that the motivation to be motivated by something like that was not the right motivation. Why? Um, for me, it was just it was it came down to what kind of what you said, the industry itself. I think I think there is good outlets for the industry um, and for promoting um, goodness and you know positive positivity. But um, a lot of the industry, especially in Los Angeles, it's just really based on. Um, on the opposite. <laughs> okay. And so it's it's it was really hard for me to say, well, I'm just going to go and act if, you know, if what I was going to be presenting and promoting might necessarily not line up with my morals or my beliefs gotcha. and gotcha. um and so I just I wondered to myself, you know, do I really need to be in Los Angeles to accomplish what I want to accomplish? Could I do it from anywhere if mm what God is really calling me to accomplish is to spread positivity and spread his word and stuff, then does it matter if one person is affected by me or 22 million? And it's God is kind of the determiner of that. Gotcha. So, so do you feel like now God may still be calling you in that arena, but not necessarily in the same place or environment? Yes. <laughs> um, I think, you know, I've thought a lot about it and I've prayed a lot about it. And um, I think that God still is going to use all of those aspects and all of those passions and things because mm -hmm. I don't think God wastes anything. I think true, that true. He gives us, you know, our purpose and our passion and everything right. um, for a reason because we, we all do things that other people don't do and vice versa. Right. So right. I think that, you know, He just had a different route for me and that I had to kind of lay down what I thought it was going to look like and just accept what God is going to do in my life, whether that be in you know, my hometown or Atlanta or exactly. LA or wherever and just be open to where he leads me once I start pursuing his ways. So right. so what would you say to someone who might feel in the same shoes as you are? By the way, I just want to say the ice cream truck just left, so at least the sound might be better. Oh my God, I was the whole time I was like, it's stressing me out. But you guys know this, you know, we always try to shoot it raw. This is how it's real. It's real it's life. But uh, kind of like I was saying, right, Nicole? So someone might be feeling in the same shoes as, as you right now watching right. and is asking themselves, what can I do now, right? Like surrendering to God's will or surrendering to what we feel that God is really calling us versus maybe something that might have been maybe more lucrative, mm -hmm. uh, that might have been a better route because of some of the life goals that you had before, that now you have to surrender to God's purpose. What were some of the things that you had to do to come to the point where right now you are at peace with that decision? Um, it was really hard because I think, you know, it's so easy to be in the world and want to impress yourself and mm. want to impress others and gotcha. want to, you know, do what other people say is success or is you know the next step or whatever but right. it was kind of letting go of that and saying well what can I do to impress God and right. and it was also letting go of um, you know my own will it's it's like when you say that our father and you really think about that line is thy will be done it's like I'm not here to do my own will I'm here to do God's will God's will exactly and even like even Jesus who like could have done anything he wanted like he, he surrendered, surrendered. To the will. Yeah, yeah exactly he gave up everything gave up his life because that was God's will so it's like sometimes you don't always get what you want and it sucks mm. but it hurts it hurts yes. and it's kind of like okay God why are you doing this but when you let go and you realize that he's taking that because he has something better in mind or a different path then 
you start to be at peace with saying, you know what, yeah, that hurt to let that go, but unless you let that go, he can't open those other doors for you. Right. So. And and I'm guessing that wasn't like an overnight process, no. right? So it took no. some time. Like, how long did yeah. it take you to, to come at peace with that? Um, I've, I mean, probably like a good six months, honestly. It wow. was a lot of tears. It was a lot of back and forth and up and down. And I mean, even still, I have days where I'm like, wow, I like ruined everything and blah, blah, My blah. God. Why you do this to me? Right. Um, but you know, it's just, it's coming back. It's always just whenever I start to, to feel that way, it's recentering myself and just being like, all right, God, you know, what are you calling me to do? What is right. your will for me? And, right. and um, I heard something the other day that said, um, thank you. <laughs> um, I'm just going to wait for a minute. Yeah, we're going to wait. This is the halftime show. Okay. <laughs> um, I heard something the other day that said that if you are not willing to wait for something then you're probably not ready for it mm. and I thought that that was interesting because if you're not willing to wait for something you're probably not ready for it boom bars tweetable tweetable uh, retweet I, I I thought that was interesting because I felt like that's kind of where I was last year like I was like almost forcing myself to go to Los Angeles because gotcha. I wanted it to happen right now and we mm. all want instant gratification exactly but God was like skirt like you need to do it this way, my right. way, and I'm gonna make it happen, but you're gonna have to be patient. And that's frustrating too, but. Right. Um, One of the things yeah. I wanna say for some of our listeners and viewers, um, I've you know, watched some of the stuff you posted on social media and things, and one thing I, I was really pleased to see from some of the stuff you've done, you seem to be really deep in the word. Like I see often enough you talk about, you know, kind of like mini Bible studies almost, you know yeah. what I mean, from like, <laughs> being rooted with that and I think you can kind of speak a little bit on how, like, how important that is like sometimes yeah. we waver so much that we need something to root us and like keeping staying rooted in the scripture is so vital in terms of that so a hundred percent and that's been a huge thing for me too lately because that's another thing whenever I start to feel myself kind of drift right I have to bring myself back to that because there's so many different voices you hear from yourself and from right. other people and stuff so it's like if you don't have that solid foundation then you're not gonna know what to listen to. Exactly. And so, you know, whenever whenever I feel like you're really going after what God has called you to, I also feel like that's when, you know, people are, and the world is going to try to distract you the most. Exactly, exactly. Because it's like, it's that temptation of, well, this is what I want and blah, 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 blah. And, but you have to almost force yourself and make it a priority because it keeps you focused and it keeps you on task with God's mission for you. And it was so funny because I've been like really praying about this lately and mm. um, whenever I read the Bible I don't you know I don't really like open it up I'm like oh, Genesis chapter 1 like right. I kind of just sit there for a minute and I just ask God where he wants me to read and it just leads me to gotcha. a verse somewhere that was that was actually gonna be my next question yeah like how do you approach um, what to read did you have like a um, you know how there's like Bible plans yeah like you know you read I don't know, Romans or Corinthians right. for the next week. So like, how did you approach, like, what to read about that? Did you do some, like, research on, like, encouraging verses? Like, um, what did you do? Well, I I um, have a, a friend that, um, she does counseling and ministry, and she, um, she helped me out a lot last year when I was going through a lot of rough times, and she kind of told me that her approach was to let, just let God and the Holy Spirit lead her in that. And mm. so, instead of you know, sitting down and saying like, all right, I'm going to read all of Matthew today. It's like, and that's good to do too. And I think, right. you know, it's good to read through the Bible in, right. in that kind of way too. But just on like a daily basis, um, when I just am trying to kind of start my day or whatever, I kind of just pray over it and, and gotcha. either a verse will come into my head or I'll just kind of be led one way or the other. And right. Um, and so the other day it led me to Habakkuk. I don't even know if you say that Habakkuk? right. Habakkuk? Habakkuk? Yeah, Habakkuk. 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 <laughs> yeah. And I was like, what the heck? I've never... Some people are like, is that a book in the Bible? Yeah. Like Sounds I, like a... It's, I've never even like a medication. honestly looked at that book, to be, right. to be real with you. And I was like, all right, God, like, right. what is this? Like, why am I reading blah, 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 blah. <laughs> And it was so funny because the, the exact verse that I read talked about Hold how... You're the sun came back, so I now need to <laughs> lower it down. <laughs> Um, the exact verse that I read talked about how, um, basically how you have to, have to write down the vision that God gives you exactly. and also how you have to wait for it and it will come to pass in God's time. And I right. was just like, because it was just almost like God being like, told you so, like, remind me. <laughs> 
reminded me. <laughs> and it's just crazy that like, that's why I love the Bible so much because every single time you open it, even if it's the same verse, it's different every single time. Right. Um, and, that's, and it finds a way to always speak to you. Exactly. And that's so Wherever powerful. Wherever you're at in your life. So. And uh, I, I want to end with this. And I think you said a couple of things that I want to make sure that people hear is the fact that when it was really difficult for Nicole to go through the process that she went through, and I think you can kind of continue to speak on that. Um, by the way, we're going to do another video on her channel, so you want to make sure you check that out. But in closing, I want to say that when it was difficult, when it was, it seemed like she had to make that decision, it wasn't overnight. You know what I mean? It wasn't like, oh, she was completely fine with it. <laughs> it took some time. You said six months? I, I mean, yeah. I, it like Maybe over. Maybe, maybe more than that. Maybe you're still, you're maybe still dealing still with it. Going right? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's going to take some time. You like there, there are going to be times where the challenge is going to be there. You're going to have to wrestle, mm -hmm. right? You know how the Bible, the Bible says wrestle. It's a battle. You're going to have to wrestle with you know God's will and you know go on with what you want to do. And so just remember that, right? Keep that in mind that you know maybe it might means wrestling with with the decision that you have to take. But in the moment when you do decide to take that decision, um, know that God's word will keep you grounded. Yep. She talked about remaining grounded in God's word, and I think that that speaks a little bit of a message as well of like what is possible, what needs to be done, and like letting God still be kind of like at the center of everything, mm -hmm. even when decisions are not very sure. So uh, I want you guys to, to take that at heart of someone who had her own plans, everything was good, and then God was like, Hey, I got an audible here. You know, how about we do it? take this route? So, in 2017, in, I mean in 2018, uh, the dog is not happy. Right? Do we have a battle of the dogs behind us? <laughs> but uh, in 2018, as you're thinking about this new year, you might be at a crossroad, right? You know, there's a tugging at your heart that God wants you to take this route, but there's something that seems more pleasing for you to do this way. Listen to God's way. Take the route that He wants you to take. Because he always wants the best for you. True. Right? True that. So, any parting words? To parting the words. Um, one of my favorite verses talks, like, uh, one of my favorite verses that I should know the verse of it, but I can tell you what it <laughs> says. Um, says that the into by the narrow gate, because uh, it's the gate. The, and you know what? I, that leads to destruction is why? Exactly, that one. I, but that's what I'm saying is the God's plan is not always the easiest plan. It's not, exactly. the, it's not always the most pleasant plan. It's most not popular, always the popular plan. Right. But it leads to life. And exactly. I can tell you that um, following my own will and following the world is is always going to leave you empty because I think if it's not centered in God, then it's 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 always going to lead to disappointment. So Right. Um, Enter the narrow path, like he said. Read the actual verse, because I should probably not. <laughs> what, don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll put it. I'll put it on the screen. Yeah. yeah. So where to go, Nicole? Uh, <laughs> Killing the game. <laughs> but I read you the Bible a lot. <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe, and also make sure you click that notification button so you also get notified on the new upcoming videos. Remember, I love you guys, and as I always say, remember your God's very best. See you guys next time. Bye.